hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i am precious Ubuizi. so we're going to look at some beautiful problems on sequence okay look at this just about two of them look at this it says suppose that log 2 comma log 2x minus 1 and then this one are in an ap assuming that this is an ap that's an arithmetic progression that what is the value of x so what value of x will make this an arithmetic progression okay so what are we going to do here to be able to solve this problem so now remember by definition for a sequence to be an ap then there must be a common difference and so for you to have a common difference it means that the difference between two consecutive terms must be the same okay so by that definition it means that if I take this term now, that's log 2 raised to power x minus 1, then I now say minus log 2, I should be able to get something that should be equal to this minus this. Okay, so the third term, which is log 2 raised to power x plus 3, minus the second term now, which is log 2 raised to power x minus 1. Okay, so if this is an ap if this series is an ap sorry this sequence is an ap then this must be true and so for what value of x will this equation be true so if we find that value then that's the value of x we're looking for so let's quickly do that and by log reading so you see that in mathematics topics are interwoven so here we need the knowledge of log reading to solve this so by log reading we know that uh, when you have subtraction here is the same thing as saying 2x minus 1 all over 2 to be equal to the log of 2x plus 3 all over 2x minus 1. And uh, because you have log on both sides, so we can take away these two. And so we we'll now have 2x minus 1 over 2 to be equal to 2x plus 3 all over 2x minus 1 and so we need to cross multiply here and when we do that we are going to have this times this is going to be two of it and so you are going to have 2 raised to the power x minus 1 all squared to be equal to this times this is going to give you 2 dot 2 raised to the power x 2 times 3 will give you 6 okay and so if we open this other bracket here we are going to have um, uh, the square of this is going to be 2 raised to the power 2 uh, raised to the power x all squared. Then this, that, remember what I'm expanding now is 2 raised to the power x minus 1, 2 raised to the power x minus 1. Okay, we can do that somewhere here. Um, so we are going to have uh, 2 raised to the power x all squared. This times this is minus 2 raised to the power x minus 2 raised to the power x plus 1. And so we're going to have minus 2 times 2 raised to the power x plus 1 to be equal to um, 2 times 2 raised to the power x plus 1. Sorry, plus 6. And so if we take everything to this side now, just come up here. So we're going to have something like uh, 2 raised to the power x all squared. So if this one comes over to this side, it will become minus. So and minus 2 times 2 raised to the power x minus another 2 is going to be minus 4 times 2 raised to the power x. And then here we have 1. If this 6 comes, it becomes minus 6. And so 1 minus 6 will give us minus 5. And that's equal to 0. So we need to solve what we have now uh, quadratically. But before that, let's do a substitution so we have p squared minus 4p minus 5 to be 0 and so we can solve this by factorization and the two terms are going to that the two terms will multiply and get minus 4 and uh, sorry will multiply and get minus 5 and add to get minus 4 will be minus 5 and plus 1 and so we're going to have p plus 1 and p minus 5 to be equal to 0 so what that means is that sorry about that so what it means is that our p is equal to minus one or positive five now but our p is raised two raised to power x 
and so it cannot be negative and so that means this one doesn't hold so that means our p is only equal to five but that's not our answer remember it's x we are looking for so that means we will now substitute into this equation to be equal to five and how do we get our x here take the log of both sides take the log of both and so our x will come down now to give us x log 2 is equal to log 5 therefore our x alone is equal to log 5 all over log 2 and that's the solution for this beautiful problem okay all right so the second example here um says that the fourth term of an ap is 37 um, and the sixth term is 12 more than the fourth term we should find a being the first term and the common difference so fourth term means that a plus 3d you remember n minus 1 is going to be equal to 37 and now the sixth term so the sixth term is going to be a plus 5d is going to be equal to they said it is 12 more than the first sorry the fourth term meaning since the fourth term is 37 so the sixth term will be 37 plus 12 and that's 49 so that's just the simple uh, trick here so once you get this you follow the process of a, a, so a simultaneous equation to solve for a and, and d okay and if we do that here we're going to have a minus a will go this will give us minus 2d and this will give us uh, minus 12 okay so and if you divide both sides by 2 sorry minus 2 you'll get your d at 6 and if we substitute d at 6 into any of these equations let's use equation 1 so we're going to have a plus uh, um, 3 times 6 is equal to 37 so that means a plus 18 is 37 and so our a alone is 37 minus 18 and that's equal to 19 so our a is 19 and our d is 6 and then um, that's the solution to the second problem right so and that's where we're going to stop for this video so kindly subscribe to our youtube channel like comment and please share our youtube videos for more content thank you